Hello everyone, it's Wednesday today and we're going to get on with our phase four phonics. Before we begin though, I would just like to say a big, big thumbs up and well done to Alexa and to Violet because on Monday you sent me some fantastic videos and photos of your learning. Not only did you complete my challenge, but you also are working so hard on your handwriting, so well done. So let's get going now, we're going to do our phase four recap of all the sounds we've learned so far. So remembering a phase four is a blend, so we say the two sounds together and it helps us to read the words quicker and more fluently, okay? So let's go, shout them nice and loudly. St. And. Mm. And that brings us to today's sounds of a quick look there before we have a look on our board. Now in my golden star today, we have got our sound of the day and it's got two letters, X and T. So we've got X and T, T. And together they make the blend X, T, X. Now it's a bit of a tongue twister, so get your mouths working. X, T. Okay about any words that have got our kst sound in. Now there's only a few, so I think you might be able to have a think of one. I'll give you a clue. You might see an adult doing it on their phone. I mean, you might have tried to do it on a phone before. Kst, little clue, okay? So moving on then, today, we're going to focus today in our phonics lesson on reading, okay? And I've put our sound of the day in some of the words in our sentences. Now, when we are reading in phonics, it's really, really important that we have a really good go at decoding, which means that we chop and we blend our words together. Now, it's really difficult for us, when we are at school and you are at home, to hear you read. So what we're going to do today in our phonics is I'm going to help us read the first sentence. Now I'm going to give you some tips and some tricks on how to read sentences nice and fluently. And remember, fluently means when we read it as one sentence, okay? And it's quite quick. And then, after, for your second sentence, I would love for your parents to video you reading my sentence so I can hear you and see your segmenting, so your chopping and your blending, because I really miss hearing you read at school. So I would really like to see a video of you doing number two on yourselves, okay? So let's do number one then together. Now, when you've got a sentence, it's really good to add sound buttons to help us to remember our words, okay? Now I know straight away that our sentence starts with the tricky word, I, okay? I, ah, mm, am. So then, once you've got to the second word, go back and read it again. So you're not going to forget those two words that you've already read. I am. Brilliant. Now let's go on to our next word. N, e, x, t. Look, there's our sound of the day. N, e, x, t. N, e, x, t. Next. Next. So go back again. I am next. Super. I am next. Tricky word. Two. I am next. Two. Now let's see the next word. G et. G et. G et. Get. So say it faster each time so you're blending that word. Get. Now let's go back again. I am next to get. Tricky word, my. I am next to get my. Last word, lunch. 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 Now I haven't done this. 
as a phase four sound yet because we haven't learnt it. So I've just kept the n separate to the ch sound, but soon we will do this as a whole sound all together. L un ch, l un ch, lunch. So now we'll go back and read it as a whole sentence. And as you read each word, you will remember them by sight. And that's how we get faster at our reading. And that's how we read lots of other things, like different books that we might pick up. So let's have a go together. I am next to get my lunch. Good job. Big tick at the end. So I want you now to have a go at reading my second sentence. And then your adult can record you and I want to hear that chopping and that blending. So pause the video now and have a good go before we move on to our last activity. Excellent job. So now as our final activity for the day, we're going to apply our learning, so apply our reading in a different way. And as you can see, I've made us a sound sort. And I've used the three words that we have learnt so far this week. So on Monday, we learnt oak. On Tuesday, we learnt pt. And today, our sound is kst. So we're going to sort them. But before we do that, I would like you to grab your whiteboard and your pen and you're going to draw your own table. Now it doesn't need to be as fancy as Miss James is. It can look like this. Okay. Ulk, a line, a line, kst, like that. Okay, and you can draw a line there and you can put your words underneath. So it doesn't need to be like Miss James's, it can just look like that. And then I know that you're also practicing writing those sounds that we've learned so far this week. So what we're going to do then is, still reading, we're going to have a look at our words and we're going to see if we can put them in the right sound, okay? So let's do a few together. Let's do this one first. Next. 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 Okay, so we've read the word and then we're going to pop it into our box. Super job. We'll do one more. Let's do, oh, this one. We liked this one, didn't we, on Monday? Hulk. 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 Which one is it going to go in? Use your sounds to help you. Up we go. So we're identifying which sound belongs in which word. And let's find a pts sound just to finish us off. Let's have a look. Oh, let's try this one, because this has got two phase four sounds in. Cr, ept, cr, ept, crept. Okay, identify that sound, does it go here? Mm, it's not all, is it? It's pt. Super, good job. Now you will see there are four more words left on my board and I would like you to put them in the right place. But then, as your challenge for today, I would like you to see how many sounds, how many words you can remember from each of our day's learning and I want you to fill your board with lots and lots of different words. So really using your brains to see how many you can think of. And then I'd love a picture of a full board filled with ulk, pt and kst words. If you can think of more than two, that would be really, really good because Miss James couldn't think of any more than two kst words. So let me know, send me a photo and see if you can beat me, okay? Have fun with today's learning. I'm going to leave these on the board for you now. And I can't wait to see videos of you reading my sentence and a picture of your sound sort. Have a lovely day and I'll see you tomorrow.